When you're the son of a West Country legend, you might expect a hero's welcome at Swindon. But Paul Trollope is in charge of Bristol Rovers, so he's not holding his breath. It's a passionate West Country derby that doubles as a family affair. Paul Trollope may now play his trade as manager at Bristol Rovers, but his dad John was, and still is, a Swindon legend with a club record 770 appearances for the Robins. I was brought up watching the town. Um, obviously, me, uh, my dad played uh, uh, quite a few games for them, and uh, I was really pleased when I was made an apprentice there, and then I was a, a young pro there. But uh, Glenn Hoddle's team that was that was in place at the time was uh, a little bit uh, too good for me to get into, so I had to move on to to other pastures to uh, to learn my trade, as it were. Did you get a decent reception? Do they uh, treat you okay? No, they treat me dad okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, I mean, it's, uh, you know, I, was, uh, I, I didn't make an appearance there. And my dad, obviously, is a, is a legend there, and, uh, and rightly so. Um, but, uh, you know, the last few years, I've been, I suppose, I've been the enemy. Rovers are on an upwardly mobile curve just lately. One defeat in their last six league games, including an impressive win last weekend at Huddersfield. We tried to move it in a, in a bit of a different direction this year with, with some younger players um, who we can mould and shape into, um, into what we want. And we knew it, it, you know, it wasn't going to be a, a quick fix and it may take time to, to get the cohesion and the fluidity that we want. But uh, the signs are that that's coming uh, and we're pleased with some of the wins we've picked up lately. And uh, yeah, we're, we're obviously going to, to Swindon in, in good spirits. In seasons past, Ricky Lambert has been the toast of the blue and white half of Bristol. Now it's Will Hoskins, latterly of Rotherham and Watford. He's finding his feet at the Memorial Ground with four goals in his last four matches. I always believed I could do, do what I do and score goals. Um, and I just wanted, obviously, to prove that and uh, it's working out for me so far. Will's got the quality um, at this level to, to score goals and, uh, and be a link for us as well. You know, he's, he's a good all-round player. You know, we're hoping to develop him and bring him on and hopefully he can, he can provide us with the goals that, that gets us where we want to go. Rovers need their winning run to take them higher than their 10th position, possibly to a playoff place. Not only playoff, I think we could get promoted automatically. Um, I said it from day one when I saw the lads in pre-season. Now, we need the strong mentality and we need the consistency. And if we can do that, then there's no problems in us uh, rising up the table. Another game you can see live on Sky on Monday. Swindon against Bristol Rovers, West Country Derby, 7.30, Sky Sports HD1. And a good footballing family, the Trollops. Absolutely. I mean, I, I play with Trolley um, down, at, down at Torquay and, and John, his father, was an absolutely diamond man. And uh, to be fair, when he spoke, you listened and uh, uh, didn't work with him long enough, but uh, certainly enough to, to pick up some very good tips. And uh, to go back there, as you say, the trolleys, you know what I mean? Uh, the father and, the, and then and young trolley there will be the enemy, as he quite rightly says. But uh, Rovers are on a, an upward curve now. Had a bad start, um, but they've changed certain things around. But, but Trolley's proven to himself to be a very good manager, and uh, I think his dad will be very proud of that. Great win at Huddersfield. Uh, they're having one or two problems of their own just at the moment, but still winning there. Will Hoskins, who, who we saw in the piece there, um, talking about levels again, he, he seems to have found his level. Once again, you know, I mean, his, his reputation was built at that level, and uh, he got a good and a big move to, to Watford, and rightly so. And now he's gone down a level again, all of a sudden the goals are going in for him, and I think his confidence is going back in. But also, once, here's another player. Come from the Premier League when he was with Watford, gone down to Bristol Rovers, and the players will be looking at him as a big name. And he's, he's really sparked from that. Just one defeat in the last seven in all competitions for Bristol Rovers. Could they make a, a, a bid for promotion this season? Oh, they're in a great position now. Now you talk about being in the top ten, in and around the top ten. You know, you don't really want to be up there to be shot at. I've talked about this before on, on the show. You know, uh, they're in the position where nobody can see them. And uh, they'll just keep clipping away results, 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 and they're in a great position now. Look, only point outside the top six anyway. Yep, uh, Brighton are top after their best start in nine years. Promoted Bournemouth a third, Colchester in sixth are still unbeaten. At the bottom, pre-season favourites, Southampton are 15th, still in the bottom half at the moment. Walsall are the bottom club after losing six of their last seven games. Fixtures in Empower League One on Saturday. Brentford against Oldham. Brentford have won just one of their last five. Oldham have no wins in the last three games. Brighton first against Bournemouth thirds live. Carlisle against Notts County. Colchester playing Huddersfield. Huddersfield have lost their last three. Hartlepool against Peterborough. The MK Dons playing Dagenham and Redbridge. The MK Dons have no wins in their last four. Dagenham are unbeaten in their last four. Plymouth play Charlton. 
Rochdale against Yeovil. Rochdale have only lost one of their last seven games. Sheffield Wednesday playing Leighton Orient. Orient unbeaten in the last three. Southampton up against Tramier. Southampton unbeaten in four. Walsall the bottom club against Exeter. And on Monday, again live on Sky Sports, we have Swindon against Bristol Rovers. Now and Swindon have leapfrogged Bristol Rovers in the League One table after winning last night's derby 2-1 at the county ground. Both sides are still in the bottom half, but they're just two points off the playoff places. Alistair Durden reports. Rovers had won this fixture 4-0 last season, so this was a measure of revenge for Swindon's players and their fans. We should have had more goals and they shouldn't have had a penalty. If it's 3-0 and 4-0 last season, it's just, you know, it's great to get a good result. Yeah, we're on the way up. We're going up, up, up. The game had plenty of spark, but little in terms of chances until midway through the first half, when David Ball's head of a Swindon crashed off the bar. That was followed less than a minute later by Jeff Hughes's effort at the other end for Rovers. The breakthrough eventually came just before half-time. 19-year-old defender Sean Morrison timing his jump and header well enough to beat Mike Green. Rovers should have been level. John Akinde still searching for his first goal for the club was denied and the rebound was too testing for Will Hoskins. And it proved a costly miss. One of the best moves of the match saw Simon Ferry tee up a gift for Vincent Pericard. But Rovers hadn't given up, and their break came when Chris Lines won a stoppage time penalty. No problem for Jeff Hughes, but not quite enough time left to really make it count. You know, we came here last year and, and won 4-0, uh, but I think we've had more of the game today than we, we had in that game. And goals do change games, you know, we, we could have been better in the final third. You know, we, we do feel a little bit hard done by we're going home with nothing. I have to say the second half we played well. I think the second half we, we really got on the ball and I think um, they did well to hold us to what we had, you know, and um, to get to go 2-0 up, it could, have, it could have possibly been a couple more um, with, the, with the opportunities we had. Swindon will hope to push on from this win after a stuttering start and both clubs, despite being in the bottom half, are only four points behind second place. Alistair Dern, BBC Points West. Two managers eyeing promotion, but with their sides languishing mid-table, both Danny Wilson and Paul Trollope were looking for three points in this West Country derby. Both sides went close to a breakthrough. First Manchester City loney David Ball striking the bar from Michael Rose's cross. Next, Jeff Hughes let fly with a 20-yard thunderbolt that had David Lucas in the Swindon goal scrambling. But it was the home side who drew first blood on the stroke of half-time. Another Rose cross was headed down by Sean Morrison and looked agonisingly over Mike Green in the gas goal. Rovers started the second half brightly, Will Hoskin blazing over after John Akindi's shot was parried into his path. And Hoskins' miss was to prove costly, as a well-worked move, a top-class touch, and a cross from Simon Ferryless Vincent Pericard with a chance he couldn't miss. 2-0 the Robins, and it looked as though Rovers would be heading back down the M4 empty-handed. Rovers rallied in the final half hour, but it wasn't until injury time when they received any reward. David Lucas brought down Chris Lyons in the box. And Jeff Hughes held his nerve to get one back. But Swindon held on, and Danny Wilson will be hoping that this win can inspire last year's beaten playoff finalists to go one better this year.